I want to take a minute to connect with you about this weekend's worship services. You probably know me well enough to know I take the responsibilities of being a spiritual shepherd seriously. Scripture calls a pastor to lead, feed, and protect the church family. And there can be times like this when that requires some flexibility in our approach. First, I know that different churches will exercise a variety of options, and I fully support the decisions made by those spiritual shepherds. They know their church family better than anyone from the outside. Our leadership team have been assessing the best information we have available regarding the requirements of our state, as well as recommendations from health officials. We've also been assessing our options for our church family. We are committed to be a safe place to find faith, friends, and your future. Honestly, there were too many unknowns for us to be able to reach the standard we hold ourselves to. And that is why we are moving from a physical gathering to an online gathering this weekend. This is not a decision born out of fear. As we gain more information, we will keep you in the loop about what decisions we are making or adjusting. The good news is, even in spite of a lot of anxiety in our culture, we still have a way to connect. Our church family, thanks to technology, will meet this Sunday morning at 9.30 and 11. We will gather at live.rcalvary.org and on Facebook. You can stay connected and up to date through Instagram, Facebook, or our website. I'm looking forward to share with you some spiritual approaches for facing uncertain seasons and for facing our own fears. Scripture is such an amazing resource for seasons like this. I have a granddaughter who lives about five hours away, and one of the things I really enjoy is FaceTiming her. Of course, it's not the same as actually being with her, but it's a great way to stay connected when gathering together is not an option. In fact, it makes me look forward to seeing her again all the more. That's my prayer for you. This Sunday will not be the same, but it will be very good. And it will help us enjoy when we are able to gather in person all the more. I know this is an adjustment and it can be frustrating. It certainly has been a learning curve for me, but I know we will get through this season together. Just before I go, would you take on some prayer assignments? There are some people who are ill and they are afraid of what it could be. Please pray for God to quiet their fears and bring healing to them. And there are people who serve those who are ill and by doing so put themselves at an elevated risk. Would you ask God to protect them as they courageously care for others? So join me on the screen of your choice this Sunday for joy-filled worship, updated information, and biblical insight that will strengthen you and, I hope, help make you a little braver.